Hello people. Uh, I just assembled a C64 case, uh, but in this case, instead of the uh, original hardware, there's only an Arduino Pro Micro and a Raspberry Pi uh, 3A Plus, uh, which works as uh, as a C64 by using this uh, real 64 keyboard and joystick ports. And also analog and HDMI uh, video outputs by using the BMC64 emulator which works on uh, Raspberry Pi. Let me show you the uh, inside of the case. I just moved the, moved the uh, analog video outputs and HDMI outputs by cables by designing these um, basic ports by measuring from the case. In fact, uh, one of my friends just gave me this case with the keyboard. So I used this um, integration to use this case and keyboard as a C real C64 by emulating it. Uh, this means it's not a real C64 by the way. So uh, I just get a power cable from this port uh, which contains a, a power bank circuit. So I used a, a old spare uh, cell phone uh, battery so it charges this one and also uh, powers up the Raspberry Pi here which emulates the whole C64. So I made a uh, power switch and also I moved the joystick ports by connecting them to the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. Also there is a 5 volts and ground pins on this GPIO pins uh, which leads the LED of the system when I open up by this switch. This is the general look of the inside part. For now I want to screw it to show you. This port has the joystick ports and background is at the back side. This is the power bank. Uh, port. There's a LED here and this one shows the four of three LEDs uh, are lighted so the power meter shows it's near full. So this is the uh, video output port of the case. Let's connect it. I will be using my 1084 monitor and also connect the system by analog video output instead of HDMI because I like this way. And it operates by not connecting it to the power because it has some charge on the battery inside. Let me show you the boot up time when I open the switch like this. About 5-6 seconds the emulator boots up. Uh, which is real good. You can uh, close and open, uh, shut down and open by the switch. There is no need to shut down process by software. Also you can attach any cartridge disk and tape images. You can access the emulator menu by, uh, the, by using Commodore key with F keys. You can also access the tape 
e, controllers like this playing stopping the tape image you use and also you can reset and access the menu by the keyboard of the simulator by this way you can attach any images and take snapshots from the actual gameplay and also I will connect the firepad uh, joystick replacement that I made before uh, by the joystick ports you can use original joysticks by connecting them to the joystick ports and it totally works like a charm by uh, making a, an empty case as a uh, most similar to the most similar thing to the real C64 by emulating it with BMC64 emulator. Also the analog video output creates great image without generating any artificial scan lines because CRT TV takes the uh, makes the job here. This looks great. Thanks for watching.